What is up guys and welcome to the South Coast. Today's video, working on the bad boy Maverick. RPMs are a little low. We're gonna try to adjust the throttle cable. Y'all stay tuned. All right guys, so when I was washing my bad boy um last video i was giving it a little hose down getting the loose grass mud and all that sort of stuff off of it when i fired it up uh when i got done cranked it on up got the blade spinning ran it on up to full throttle and i noticed i was only running about 3400 rpm and i believe I'm supposed to be running closer to 36 so i'm gonna see if the throttle cable needs some adjusting we're gonna see if we can get it adjusted, get those RPMs back up where they're supposed to be um, and see, see if that helps us out. So let's go ahead and see where we're at baseline, see what we can do to adjust the throttle cable and see where we end up. Hey, did you click the subscribe button yet? Go do it. End that thumbs up. All right, guys, so as you can see, still a little low from that 3600 mark with the blade spinning. So we're gonna see if we can get under here amongst where the throttle linkage is, see if we can tighten it up, adjust it, whatever we need to do to uh, get a little bit more throttle out of this dude. All right, guys, so basically what I did, I loosened up the keeper. I believe this is a eight millimeter wrench. There might be an inch equivalent to it, but I don't have that wrench in the shop. So I uh, loosened up the bolt that was holding the keeper for the throttle cable jacket, and I pulled that jacket back a little bit, um, maybe mm, 3 sixteenths of an inch, something like that, um, and tightened it back down. So we'll get the mower fired back up and see if that helps us out a little bit. I think that'll set the overall throttle a little bit higher, both on the bottom end and the top end, which is fine. Um, so we'll see what the RPM readout is. A uh, quick pro tip, probably don't do this when the mower's hot, because I definitely just burned my hand on the muffler. Don't be dumb like me. All right, let's see what it'll spin up to. So we seem to have hit the same RPM. Uh, so we're gonna try to adjust this 
So adjustment screw right here and see. We'll see what that does. Not real sure. Not real sure, but we're gonna try. All right, got that adjustment screw backed off a couple turns in the outward direction. There's a locking nut on the back side of it. Didn't have the right size wrench, but I was able to get it with a couple pairs of pliers. Got that nut loosened, back the screw out a little bit, got the nut tightened back up. Let's see what it does. Right, guys well I think that is all we're gonna do with it I think it may just be governed at reading 3500 on this meter it maybe actually be running 36 these meters aren't super accurate um, but we did get it to come up a few maybe 30 40 50 rpm to that good steady 3500 mark so we'll leave it there I'll, uh, I'll watch it see if anything changes and uh, I'll probably need to do a little bit more research um, and see See if there's any other adjustments I can do. But anyway, that'll do for day for today. Trying to adjust the throttle on a whim uh, without any research. So this is what it is. We got a little bit out of it. We're gonna call it a day. I appreciate y'all watching. Hit that thumbs up. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon to get the notifications sent to you whenever I post new videos and whatnot. And uh, leave me some comments if you know how to adjust the throttle on these or if I even need to be adjusting the throttle on this one with it reading 3500 RPM with the blade spinning. Let me know. Give me your ideas, your thoughts, and such. Anyway, guys, I hope you all have a good one. We'll catch you next time down here on the South Coast.